from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Stadium. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019. Daniel Jones under center. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. Bellinger hauls it in out left side. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Jones throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here pulled in by Galladay. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 22-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Throwing Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not 
those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that makes the score 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. As the Texans offense runs out, we get a peek at the man under center. Second-year quarterback Davis Mills out of Stanford. And remember, when he came out of college, he left early. So a lot of people weren't really paying attention to this young man. But he's entrusted with a leadership role early in his NFL career and didn't shy away from it. His goal, continue to prove that there should have been one more quarterback that went in the first round of the 2021 draft. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 25-yard line. They run with a rookie from Florida, Damian Pierce. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now a dump off here complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. First and 10, it's Pierce. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third that kind of yardage on a pass play you often expect it to be a sack but that wasn't the case there they completed the pass probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage and he can only get this to the 42 yard line and that is not near enough They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. Now Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Barkley inside handoff. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. The Giants and the Texans last year, if you go by the numbers, the two poorest offenses in the NFL, the Giants 31st in total yardage, and the Texans dead last. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Jones to Galladay, first down Giants. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought 
Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short to give it the tight end. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. There's big fellas up front. They're really making this offense go early in the game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Texans are going to get the football here at their own 23. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards to pick up, first down. A first down throw for Mills. His throw incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Oh, Shane Zeminis charges in there. Side linebacker position. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And that's complete to Cooks. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Mills on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And he's got this down to the 35. 
61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Throw him deep for Galladay. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. They never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On third down, here's Mills. They dial up the screen here to Burkhead. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to what they made right there. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Throwing Mills. That's caught. It's Chris Moore. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal 
They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Pierce. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. On second and goal. Mills going for Howard, but the pass intercepted. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 30, 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a giant touchdown. Wow, this one, it is getting out of hand early. They add a pick six to the ledger now. Three-score lead still in the first half. And all that celebrating that you see and hear from those defenders, it's not just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six. It's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream. Gano the extra point. And it's now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called called a I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. Yeah. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Throwing again on second down. Mills. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Looking to throw his Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. 
Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. To throw on third down, Jones. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw. Jones. That's complete to Slayton. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Off play action. Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Daniel Bellinger, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Giants are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Gano for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Mills throw complete there to Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mills. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And his throw here is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Set to punt, here's Cameron Johnston. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. 
absolutely ideal. Yeah, from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. Ten yards. First down. Off the play fake. Jones. Throw in deep for Galladay. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. A handoff to Barkley, and he's going to be stopped at about the 37. 80 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This from 54 yards away. Gano's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen as we send you right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Now Mills. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Out of the shotgun, a give to Burkhead. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down, Mills. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Mills now. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Giants are going to take possession. Got it at the 42-yard line. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. 
I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Hudson. And going to get this up to midfield. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. 103 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Jones throwing on first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. No one to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. Malik Collins forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Throwing on second and long. Jones. They'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. Times, the leverage is the key to everything. The defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. On that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Giving to the big tight end on forward. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. On play action, Jones. from six yards away. And the Giants are pouring it on. Got a familiar refrain. The turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, but I'd say that a lot of friends breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, Time to start stretching and loosening up. You, you may get some playing time in this one. Good to go now. Following the touchdown, here to kick it away. And Smith chooses not to return it, and then bring it out to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. So see if the offense is up for that challenge here. As they start to get Six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. To throw, Mills. They'll try and set up the screen. It's going to be. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And the 
The Giants are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. I guess we're at the point of the game where they do need to open up the playbook a little bit, start to take some chances down the field, but that one did not go as planned. Yeah, these guys need something good to go their way, and they took an opportunity to take that shot there, but obviously that's not going to help. A tough play for them as they're trying to make their way back. And then they will manage to pick up about four in second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up in a game of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. The playbook's yeah. got to be pretty well open on second and six. Said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This, this offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The Mills will throw it. And down he goes. Pressure gets him. and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day. You feel like an incomplete pass. It's almost a pin for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. So they got the turnover, started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. I like what you said right there. That defense he able to hold firm back up into the shadow of their own end zone from goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, it's only win for their side. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this will leave them a yard short. A nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Here's a gift to Barkley. And they can get this one across the 45 before he's going down. 125 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete on the ball. He's going to score. Do you think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead? These guys are absolutely not going to let up. If they want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Back to throw. Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. What a hallmark of good defenses. Understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it up field. So one trots the field goal 
unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And it's his ball. He got just enough to clip it as he drops it in from long distance. And that will extend their lead even further. Wow, I mean, it's so rare to even see one attempted from that distance, CD, let alone converted. But he came through with confidence and matches what was Tom Dempsey's 43-year NFL record at one point of 63 yards. Yeah, I can still see that highlight of Dempsey making that kick, and nowadays we see it a little bit differently because of Dempsey was a straight-on kicker. These guys nowadays, the range keeps increasing, and they keep putting it through the post. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. He's got his tight end up in the middle, O.J. Howard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action, Mills. And he can get away from the pressure. The Giants get it. Leonard Williams getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and 15. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And the Giants are going to have a short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Now Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center, because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played. But you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. A give to Burkhead on first down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back 
near his goal line. Here's Mills. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. Things were just going from bad to worse. Now it's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth-quarter lead. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw, Jones, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. To throw again on second down. Mills. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Up the gut with Burkhead. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Here's Pierce. Is into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Well, CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about or really grasp onto in this game. They've been dominated, but at least they get a late touchdown here. Something positive to put on film for tomorrow's session. Yeah, they're still trying to execute, trying to get some positives on their board and, and ledger sheet and keep this from being a total loss. Give them credit. They're going down fighting. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. You just kind of feel for the defense right now, this deficit. They have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles, and... Some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now, trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue to fight, even though they are down huge in this game. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. This is Barkley. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Get the first down, close it out. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That's excellent. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things 
for this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to three moves to the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Here's Mills. Open oh, and it's Howard to tie in. the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Back to throw. Ben Mills cooks on a quick slant. And they're going to get this to about the 45-yard line. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this a little more respectable. Yeah, I think that's the goal. Good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. And Mills to the air again. He finds his tight end, Howard, that's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Mills throw taken in by Collins. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third yard is filled. for them wasn't there lost the football lost a lot of yardage but i think the good news outweighs it able to retain possession that was big for them and my goodness another interception picked up by well, they've got the huge lead now they have another interception on the defensive side Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got Bellinger. And he'll take this across the 25 before. 19 yards there on the catch and run. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. And quickly they get to the line. Throwing on second and long. Jones. That's to Galladay. What a catch. A big play there on the catch and run. 68 yards. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. 
I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, and that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for 30 yards. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second and seven, Jones. And it's caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's It's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watch of their execution throughout this contest. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. On first and ten, Mills. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Another first down there. As this one goes for 25. From the shotgun, it's Mills. And he finds Howard complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Mills again. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... In the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The New York set to take the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter the defense does have all three timeouts but at this point doesn't look like it's going to matter much and they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go and looking at houston defensively they've got a dime set six dbs on third And they will take a knee here. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is, 
on one of those high-end sports cars, what's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.